Hello everyone, it's Richard from Pick Nature, and in this video I will show you guys how you can detect a click outside of a React component to do something with it, right? So we all know this situation. Uh, you have some kind of model like this, and now you want to close it by pressing anywhere outside of your component, right? Today I'm going to show you do, how to do this using um, React hooks and also using TypeScript. So this is a very modern way to do this. I'm just going to do this in Gatsby and I'm going to use the starter, which I will install in my current directory. So I'm using the Gatsby starter TypeScript plus. It contains stuff like styled components. It already has TypeScript in there and it has some nice presets. So this is the starter we will use. Okay, so now it's finished installing. So let's start our server, Gatsby develop. And here we go. Here is our TypeScript starter. So let's go to the index page and I'm just going to remove this stuff. So before I show you how to do this, let's create a basic component that replicates the kind of behavior that we want to do, right? So I'm going to make a button here. I'm going to say open and below that I will make a new styled component. As you can see, now we have this box right here. And if I click outside of this box, I want it to close, right? Let's give it maybe a background color just for fun white smoke and this looks cool doesn't it maybe padding so in this case the first thing you would usually do is you would get your state going right so uh, this component is com just a return statement so let's wrap it into a function and write return and so what we would do now is you would get your state ready right you would say visible set visible initialize this as false and what you would do now is you would assign an on click to this button You'd say handle click and then handle click will be a function and we would say set visible true. And now all we have to do is we have to conditionally render this model depending on whether visible is true or not. So if we say visible and then render this model. If we try this, as you can see now, it's not visible because we uh, set the initial value to false. And if I click this, there's my diff. Now I cannot close this diff. So something I could do right now is change this function here to toggle, right? If I pass a function in here, I, I would not give it any type because it's just for uh, demonstration. And then you would inverse the previous state of this. The, as a result, uh, you can see now I can toggle the diff. I still cannot close the diff by clicking outside of it. And that's what I want. This is where our custom hook comes into play. Let's go ahead and create a new folder called hooks alerter.psx. This hook is supposed to give us the same functionality that state will give us. So we, we want something that gives us a true or false from this, but we want it to handle the logic itself, where if you click outside of the component that we apply this to, it should close it, right? Now, the key aspect of this is going to be event listeners. We can add event listeners to our document that listen to a click. When, when this event listener fires, we want to call some kind of function. So I'm going to call this handle click outside. This takes a third argument. I don't want to get in too much, but we're going to set this to true. And what this will basically do is it will not fire a prevent default after this callback has been called. We don't want that because we may, may have other events that we still want to do something with. Now we have our basic event listener, right? So let's do our function here that handles our click. Now we have a problem because we like we have just attached an event listener to our entire document. So anywhere we click, whenever we click, this event is going to fire. But we want to check if we're not clicking our element, right? If we are clicking outside of the element. For this, obviously, we need to know if our mouse at the time of clicking was in the element or not. We need the ref of the object that is around our object because this is going to be the element that tells us whether or not we click inside of the element or outside. What we'll do is we will use a const, call it ref, and we will use the reuse ref. And this is initialized as null usually. Now this is a hook. How do we get the reference of our component in here, right? Uh, we do this to kind of a uh, little trick. So we can return an object which has our ref, right? And what this is going to return, interestingly, is the reuse ref call, right? So if we use this method now in a component, we can simply take the ref out of there and then define a ref on our component. And that will actually use the reference that we use 
in this hook. This is a little bit confusing, but just give it a second. You're going to understand what's going on real soon. So now our handle click outside, we can do it because we have a ref, right? Keep in mind, the ref is a reference to an element in the DOM. First of all, we want to make sure that our reference currently has an instance inside because this ref is going to be null at first, but once we return it and we put a ref onto our component, current is going to be an element in our DOM. If we know that the current ref exists, we want to run a check. And that is, we want to see if the current ref contains event target. So what this line does is it tells us whether the thing that we have clicked is actually in our reference. And what this means, of course, is since we will put the reference on the wrapper element of the thing we want to hide, it's going to check whether or not the, what we click is our element. By putting this in front of there, we can see if it's not our element. This is going to fire whenever we click something that is not our own component. This is the whole magic of it, right? So what we will do now is we will define the state in here, call it visible, set visible, and this is going to use the state and let's initialize this to false. And as you can see here in our, in the problems, it tells us the object is possibly null. And that's because we didn't define any type for our reference. The type of it is going to be an HTML div element. If it's not a div element for you, you're going to have to change this obviously to whatever it is, right? And now of course we have to pass in the event as well. If this condition is true, then what we want to do is we want to set the visibility to false. So now this has one final thing that will not work. If we just say document add event listener, this doesn't make sure that our DOM is actually loaded. We want to make sure our components have mounted before we attach an event listener to it. We will say use effect. Our effect is going to be, of course, the event listener. We want this effect to run whenever our reference changes, right? So this means whenever something about the element that holds our menu changes, this effect will run, right? And remember, effects are component did mount and did unmount in one. The return is your cleanup. This is where we will remove our event listener. It will be the same, same stuff that we called earlier. All right. And finally, of course, we want to also return our state that is being handled in this a hook and we also want to import use effect. This is our basic hook. Let's put it into our component. So now instead of state, what I have here is our hook. So let's remove this. So remember we are exporting our state and our reference. We're not really exporting our reference. We're just exporting the use ref call visible set visible and ref. And this is going to be the hook and that is called use outside alerter. Uh, I'm using auto import, so this imports right here. Oh, actually, I forgot something. We have to set the initial value of this, and we're going to do this by passing it in. And that's going to be a Boolean. And let's just pass in the initial value here. Our initial value is false, of course. So now we wrap this in a div and put the ref on this div. And now this ref is going to be passed into our hook. That is where the ref is actually turned into a ref. The hook will do some logic handling our state if we click outside and it will return the state accordingly. But we can also manipulate the state independently. So I can still use this, but let's see if it works. There are some errors here. Just have to reload, I guess. Yep. Now, if I click inside, nothing happens. Clicking outside, also nothing happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason why this doesn't work here is because this div that I created spans the whole page here because of some styles of this page. I think it's due to this page component. So let's just put some style on here and say width and put the same width that we use here to 500 pixels. Now this div is the same size as the div that is in there. And now it works, as you can see. You can do something else if you want. And if you want to close your menu by pressing a button on your keyboard, like escape, you can do that as well by adding an event listener. Instead of listening for clicks, we're going to listen to key press and let's call this handle key press and we pass in true here for the same reason that we did it earlier. And of course, when we clean up our component, we remove it again. And now we have to do our handle key press function also takes in an event and key, key events are nicer. They are called key. What is it called? Key event. 
No key, oh, keyboard event. Okay, here we just check for the key that has been pressed. If our key is escape, we do the same thing, set visible box. This works better when you use key down instead of key press, because that will actually capture escape as well. So use key down if you use escape. Something to note here, this logic, you can also pass it in using a function. In this case, I kind of hard-coded the logic for this hook. If you have a similar use case where you want to set a Boolean for showing something, uh, you can use the same hook again, right? So that's cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.